Today we have with us a singer, a composer, a performer who has performed over a thousand live shows, Ms. Sangeeta Rajiv. Yeah, it's it's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> it, pleasure is ours, really. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, well, so Sangeeta, how did your musical journey begin? Um, as my name suggests, Sangeeta, you must be knowing, you know, my mom has planned to make me a musician. <laughs> uh, no, jokes apart, my uh, my mom is a singer, my granny is also a singer, so I come from a completely musical family. Mm. My uncle is also a musician, so wow, everybody in my family, in yeah, blood. <laughs> yes, it is in my genes. So <laughs> that's how I'm, I'm a musician today. Uh, so yeah, probably my mom just knew that, you know, this girl is going to become a singer, so let me name her Sangeeta. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a such an amazing coincidence. Yeah, as well. <laughs> I know. It, I don't know if it's a coincidence. I keep asking my mom, "Did you plan and keep my name?" <laughs> so yeah, maybe she just knew, and then I'll become a singer. So, like I mentioned, you've done over a thousand live shows, right, all over the world. So, how has uh, how was that experience for you? Oh, it's lovely. Um, for a singer, um, it's so important to connect with your audience. Yeah. And um, I, as a performer, I just love performing. You know, you get an instant reaction by the audience as soon as you get onto the stage, your good or bad is judged immediately. So I just love being on stage and um, probably that's, uh, that's the reason why, you know, I'm doing quite well in my performances and uh, I connect to the audiences, I know what they want, I make them dance, I make them sing, I go crazy on stage and that's the best part of my life. Uh, well, as a part of your shows, you've uh, you've opened for Sunidhi Chauhan, you've worked with Anu Malik, you've worked with Guru Kirat. So, how how are all these people with you and how, how was your experience with in terms of learning and uh, also in terms of the whole experience of being with such people, right? How was it? Especially when I opened for Sunidhi Chauhan, it was like a dream, dream come true for me because uh, she is my inspiration and um, as a singer, I follow her, as a performer, I follow her. So uh, opening for her was like a dream come true for me. And uh, Guru, Guru sir is like, you know, uh, he was my mentor when I was first uh, participating in a reality show. So I, I do have a very nice bonding with him. Uh, performing with him, he's a rock star on stage and uh, lovely it is, you know, to perform with such people. And I also got an opportunity to perform with Anu Malik. I'm like brought up uh, listening to Anu Malik songs. So that's like, you know, that was the best moment of my life when I actually performed with him. Like that I've opened for uh, Shiv Mani. Mika Singh and I've also performed with a lot more musicians in uh, Karnataka. Wow, you're you're living every singer's dream, I would say. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a lot more to achieve, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy. You spent your uh, childhood in Mumbai, right? Yes. So is that where uh, your whole journey began? Because that is like the hub for artists. Um, actually. Um, I was in school. I did my schooling in Mumbai. So um, I wasn't very sure that I'll become a singer when I was in Mumbai. Uh, music classes were going on in my house. My mom used to teach me. And I also used to learn Bharatnatyam uh, when I was in Mumbai. I've learned Western uh, dancing also in Mumbai. So I didn't know if I would ever become an artist. Uh, for me, that was just the school life. So. Actually, uh, when I changed, when I actually took up uh, this uh, as my career was, uh, I'm an engineer and... Um, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm an engineer and uh, I worked for British Telecom in London. After working there, I just somehow felt, no, God, what, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I think that is the everyday story of most engineers, right? Because really, you know, <laughs> I, no, I, I really, I liked what I was doing. That's different. I liked what I was doing, but uh, the artist in me was always like, no, what, what am I doing? Come on, Sangeeta, you're supposed to be on stage, you're supposed to be singing. So uh, that's where I took it very seriously. Uh, but the whole learning process 
uh, really helped me to be here today. You said you switched from being an IT, uh, being in IT, to a performer on stage, yeah. right? So uh, from a cubicle to st stage, how was that transition, and how was your first experience when you went on stage to as a performer as? Sangeeta. I've given a lot of uh, performances when I was a child also. Mm -hmm. So I used to perform, uh, I used to dance, I used to sing. So in colleges, schools, I was always performing. Stage was something that was never new to me. And that's the best place, you know, for me. <laughs> Probably I would never want to be in a cubicle. <laughs> I just hated that. I really don't like it. So yeah, I mean, I'm very comfortable when I'm on stage. I have zero person fear when I go on stage. I, I don't know, people say there's a concept called stage fear. Stage fear, yeah. But I really, really don't, I don't see it at all. <laughs> I just love being on stage. Okay. Well, Sangeeta, around eight, nine years ago, I remember seeing you on, on a reality show on TV. Yeah. Right? Yeah. From being a participant on a reality show and right now you are the jury member of Sarigama Pal. Yes. How, how was that journey and how different is it? That I was in school and college when I actually took part in those reality shows. Um, that was the biggest learning process for me. Uh, I don't come from any, you know, film uh, background. Uh, none of my family members are from the film industry. So for me, a reality show was, was like, you know, it was just, it just opened doors for me. Uh, I didn't know what playback singing was. I didn't know how to perform uh, as a professional. So the entire journey, the reality show journey, it was the biggest learning process for me. And it really, really helped me. And probably that's the reason why today I'm a jury <laughs> in one of the reality shows. Okay. And uh, how is this experience as a jury? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're, you'll be the one who will be teaching those kids and uh, also judging them later on. Uh, I just love kids and they're so talented, my God. Uh, every day for me is a new learning process from them. Again, as a jury also, I'm learning something. Seriously, they're so talented and they're, they're so quick in learning, my mm -hmm. God. So I'm, I just enjoy the whole process. I love being with them and uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> so um, you mentioned your inspiration was Sunidhi mm -hmm. Chauhan, right? Yeah. So when did that start? I mean, I'm pretty sure there must be one song or something that really uh, appealed to you that uh, made you her fan. and. I became a fan of hers from her first song, Must. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> I just love yeah. the voice. It's so unique and... Uh, so powerful as well. Oh my God. I don't think there's another voice in India that can match her. She's too good. And the dynamics in her voice, the way she sings. Uh, there's a lot, lot of things to learn from her. And I've been learning it, listening to her. So I just love her. And also in your personal life, uh, apart from professional life, who has been your inspiration? It's definitely my mother. Uh, <laughs> definitely my mother. Um, both, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to music, she's my inspiration because she's my guru. Mm -hmm. uh, I've learned from her. And um, apart from that, being a human being, being a strong woman, um, my inspiration is my mom. Always. <laughs> always, always. So, um, yeah, recently there was a new single of yours, right? Chanse Udi. Yeah. So, how did that happen? How did... Uh, I, I know you or you're also a composer and you make your own music. So, uh, how was this whole journey of making your own music video and... Uh, uh, see, before I entered into films, before I sang for a movie, mm -hmm. uh, I was first an independent musician. So I used to compose my own songs and sing. Uh, so that was there in me from a very long time. Uh, being influenced by Western music, so uh, I released one of the rock albums in Kannada, which okay. is called Sarvaswa, mm -hmm. which is again uh, launched by uh, Shiv Mani sir. Okay. So uh, in Mysore Dasra actually. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a lovely moment for me. Um, so that was my first album. Uh, I wanted to do something in my language, which mm -hmm. is Kannada first, and then I wanted to step into Hindi. 
so uh, yeah. these days it's like the album culture is gone yeah. uh, these days it's only the single culture so i thought okay let me release something and uh, why i chose chand se udi uh, this composition is very close to my heart because i speak about uh, women empowerment in this mm-hmm. song mm-hmm. so i thought let me start with this song and yeah. that's how so th- I, even that that also connects to a lot of uh, women since yes, that is yes, the yes definitely i think uh, every woman would you know connect when i sing that song everybody will relate it to themselves so that's what i wanted to do can we listen to a few lines of it jaane kaise kab kyu hawa ki ruk kyu badli jaane kaise sambhe na samjhi kuch bhi pagli ruthi tab se wo khud se आसमा से ठाने अब से ना होगी वफा आसमा से चंद से क्यों उड़ी मैं आसमा से जा जुड़ी मैं अजब सी बेखुदी में ढूंढती मंजिल नहीं दैट वाज अमेजिंग सीरियसली आई मीन आई मीन आई आई फील सो happy i feel thank you <laughs> so thank blessed. you thank you <laughs> well the song has been featured on mtv and bbc as well right yes 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 that's something big for me big for any musician yeah any singer why wouldn't they want to be featured on mtv so that was like a dream come true for me and uh, bbc uk also featured uh, the song wow femina wrote about it and uh, yeah that's a lovely experience <laughs> you have gone places honestly not yet not yet there's lot more <laughs> but yeah whatever i've achieved i'm i'm very happy that i've got it all on my own okay. as an artist it it might not have been easy for you right in the beginning i mean in the journey the journey itself is has a lot of challenges definitely uh, yes. my journey was a roller coaster ride <laughs> uh, because i Firstly I didn't want to become a singer okay my ambition was to become a dancer hmm. and I'm a trained uh, Bharatanatyam classical dancer uh, I've learned for around 15 years and then oh my god yeah and unfortunately I met with an accident and uh, I hurt my spinal cord so I was asked not to sing and not to dance so that again you know was like that must have yeah, been heartbreaking that, yes yeah. uh, So I chose to become an engineer and I did go and work in British Telecom but then uh, the artist in me was like no <laughs> this is not what you want to do uh well I was trained in music as well so it made me more easier and uh, I could get out of that depression very easily because if I cannot dance there's always music so music and dance go hand in hand exactly so yeah so I thought why not you know i become a singer mm. and if you see my performances i just don't sing i also yes. dance yes so and you make your audience dance as yes. well yes <laughs> <laughs> so probably that's the usp <laughs> i used it in a right way and uh, i'm very happy now i'm i'm happy doing that uh, initially um, when when you have to shift from a different career to a completely new field uh, where i don't know anybody mm. it was very very difficult for me financially again it was very tough uh, because i don't come from a very rich family i come from a normal middle class family and uh, i was working for my family i was the only person who was working for my family and that was a responsibility for me and um, suddenly you quit a job that was paying me uh, you know monthly income and uh, yeah i had to get into a freelancing job yeah uh, I didn't know where it would take me you know initially mm-hmm. I really didn't know what I was doing I actually didn't know how to start also because I didn't have anybody to guide me so I didn't know how to start mm-hmm. I was lost I just quit the job uh, asking my mom's permission will you mm-hmm. will you be okay with it and uh, she supported me uh, she said if not now when so go for it go mm-hmm. live your dreams for two years it was very very difficult financially mentally a lot of stress but then yeah uh 
I grew. I grew up my contacts, mm. networking, learning. I started learning different forms of music, mm-hmm. and um, I started networking with a lot of people. I started performing. Um, I started making my own songs, and uh, yeah, social media these days is yeah. you know it's it's the brilliant platform ever you can get as an artist. So I was recognized by a lot of people on social media. So I built my own fan base and. Uh, that really helped me you know get a song in one of the yeah. movies uh my first song uh was ani pataki that just happened when i i went to sing uh for a re-recording mm-hmm. a background score um dharma sir liked my voice and uh, he gave me that song so wow <laughs> yeah and again uh, lucia tin beta kum that song <laughs> was I think it was wonderful. Yeah, was that like, was a sensation as well. Yeah, <laughs> I never knew I would get that song in my life, and thanks to my fans for giving me that song because uh, uh, there was an audition that uh, Pawan Kumar sir uh, announced online, mm-hmm. and uh, we were supposed to sing and uh, put it on YouTube mm-hmm. or SoundCloud. So I released the song on SoundCloud and YouTube, and. Uh, I got the highest uh, number of views and hits on oh, wow. my uh, version, and so Pawan Kumar sir and Purna Chandra Tejasvi, who is the music director, they called me to the studio and recorded my voice, and I just sang that song, and that was miracle. Uh, it just changed my life. So. Thank you so much to Lucia for bringing me here. Okay, that is, that was like you know that's yeah. the story. <laughs> so like you have to major. undergo a lot of. Ups and downs and ups and downs. There's still more ups and downs, uh, which is going to come in future also. But yeah, you just got to be strong and keep going. <laughs> Work hard and keep going. That's it. Okay. What do you do in your free time, if you have any? That is, I know you keep moving from one place to the other. You keep no. I just going love on. traveling. Uh, yeah. So that's something um, you know. It's like a plus point for me being a performer. I love traveling and I get I go on paid holidays. <laughs> I go on paid vacations. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said you're living the dream of every yes, single out there. You know I go on paid vacations. I get all the nice treatment. I get to stay in a very good uh, hotel and uh, I get to go around uh, I visit <laughs> different countries. So I love traveling. Uh, that's something uh, I'm lucky to be a performer as well because I'm I'm living that dream also. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I listen to music. I love listening to music. Mm-hmm. I watch television a little, not too much, but yeah, I whenever I get time, I watch television and uh, I'm a movie freak, so I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> okay, so uh, which is your favorite movie? DDLJ No doubt oh, about it. Okay, you're an Shah Rukh fan too. <laughs> oh, I'm a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan. Huge Shah Rukh Khan okay. fan. You must see the S R K mashup that I've done uh, recently for okay. Shah Rukh Khan on cool. my YouTube channel. I'm a crazy I would definitely fan. watch that. <laughs> But and yeah. actually, my Gerua song, which I covered, mm-hmm. um, is almost a million hits now. So wow. yeah, so I'm a huge fan of Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, I'll definitely catch that yes, on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Being a huge fan of Shah Rukh Khan myself, I call him the love of my life or my first love. You know, the first time I watched DDLJ, I was three years old, and ever since then, I mean, he is like. <sighs> I know, I know. <laughs> That's every girl's uh, feeling. I can, I can understand. <laughs> I can relate to you. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Um, so um moving forward let's have a rapid fire oh god okay, okay. <laughs> all right all right so let's start major thing on your bucket list uh i have to go watch uh, rais okay same yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> okay uh next uh, who would you go on a date with except shahrukh khan ranveer singh or ranveer kapoor ranveer singh okay uh one super power you wish you had i wish i could fly or be invisible no i would like to fly <laughs> just fly yeah. yeah okay okay one word that describes you powerful 
Wow. Uh, what would you do if you woke up as a man for a day? I don't want to. <laughs> I love what? being a woman and I'm I'm very happy. So I don't want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel beautiful about myself and I'm I I feel strong about myself so I'm happy being a woman. <laughs> okay. So okay, best childhood memory. It's with my dad. Um yeah. Okay. Most embarrassing moment. Every time people get confused uh whether I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, I'm an actress. Oh, so you act in movies, is it? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm a singer. Oh so you're a dancer is it no i'm a singer <laughs> oh no singers why 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 do you have to have a photo shoot for becoming a singer uh, why do you have to look good when you're becoming a singer come on that's yeah that's i mean that, that's, that's like, irrelevant you know, i yeah. i really feel uh, it's not embarrassment but i don't know what it's kind of it. annoying yeah it's annoying yeah. <laughs> that's the question everybody asks me are you an actress no I'm a singer. Okay, so yeah, that's with the rapid fire and great performance on oh. the rapid fire. <laughs> okay, and also um, when you talked about social media, right? I see a lot of uh, upcoming or prospective singers, I would say, uh, putting up their videos, selfie videos, and, or uh, some recordings of theirs on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. So, what would you like to say uh, to them? your word to them um it's a nice thing you know uh, social media has definitely helped me grow so i would say yes keep doing it uh, but yeah you got to do some good quality recordings mm. uh, just singing from somewhere you know the background is bad and you're singing mm. something which is not audible um i think that is something that they have to avoid and um, I would always, you know, always and always recommend singers to compose and sing their own songs more than mm -hmm. covers because that will always take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Just singing a cover is definitely good. I I don't say no because I too sing covers, but if you have to grow in this industry, yeah. you got to sing your own song and people have to recognize you for your song. not for someone else's song yeah it yeah. it it's easy to get recognized uh, by someone else's song but uh, it's very difficult if you know if you have to be recognized for your own song just like you said chanseodi that's like you know that feels really good to me because if you if you if you'd have told me that i saw you uh, in gerua uh, you have sung a song I would say yes thank you so much uh but did you go watch my original so mm -hmm. that's the yeah. thing you know every singer should have it and uh, that'll take them to the next level i think they should make their own music originals okay. are always valued all right so finally uh do you have any message to our viewers oh yes um uh, for all the viewers out there thank you so much for being with me especially all my fans i love you a lot <laughs> seriously all i can say is if you have a dream then keep working hard and you will be there one day all right sangeeta thank you so much for being thank on you, our show thank you thank you so much and that was a lovely song uh, yeah it was it was a treat to my ears to listen to you it was a, it's a treat to my eyes to see you thank you <laughs> same here <laughs> thank you all right so thank you so much for being with us thank you all right guys that's it for today and uh, wrapping up this is swati bye bye